guys, it's Chara. I wanted to share a quick, completely recycled junk project. One of the things that I've kind of been working on and dealing with is, you know, just some general frustrations with some vision problems and things that I've been having. And I decided to create a kind of a happy book, just something that was completely free form. And I set up a couple of rules. My first rule was that everything had to be recycled in it. It was just completely had to be from my stash, from old magazines, things like that. And I think the only thing that I used that was technically not recycled was there's a little bit of washi tape in there, but that was actually from other projects as well. So it was kind of recycled. The second thing I did was I set myself the challenge to use each spread to have one word and to choose images that some way signified that word to me. So it's completely a decoupage type pro um, process. And the other thing that I did was my hard fast rule was that I did not overthink it. So everything had to be whatever my first impression was and to put it down rather than to apply a lot of rules. So this is what I came up with. This started life out as um, a Mary Maxim little catalog, and I went in and tore out pages and glued two pages together, painted them this weird brown color that you'll see when I flip in it, and let them dry. Then I proceeded to sew around them with my machine, which was a new... Um, test and experiment for me to see if I could make that work and then I sewed the pages together so there are actually four thicknesses here for each thing that you see and on the front it just says beautify I used ribbon from my stash to just um, do as a tie closure and on the inside my first spread just uses the word garden and these were images that just appealed to me from various magazines and things and a stamp with a cardinal. We have cardinals year-round here in North Carolina and they are my one of my favorite birds. In fact, I um, fill my bird feeders every two days pretty much. I feed a ton of cardinals. This spread just says hope. This image started out as a sunshine and I saw the scarf and just various things and just when I finished it was a orange faced she and I love these colors. They just screamed hope to me. The next one was charming. Something about these images overlay just reminded me of a charming English village maybe or fairy, fairy village even. Then I went on to this image came from a black and white image in an art book and the word happy and every one of these images for some reason just made me happy. Um, I love the color pink. I love flowers. I don't know. It's just each one, like I said, there was no justification. It was just what spoke to me at the time. And then these were about positive, about positivity. And this, as I saw them, I, there was just something about the tree and the circle of life. that they, It was just a positive thing to me, and that's what... But well, immediately when I found those images in my, um, I have this notebook that I keep of cutouts. And that's, those were just the pieces that jumped out to me that day. I did work on this over the course of months. I believe I started it in May after I came home from the hospital and I'm just now finishing it. This was Moon. And again, I went with the pinks. And these cute little flowers are actually, I don't know if it's close enough you can see it or not, but they're actually little toadstools in there. Forgive my nails, guys. I have been crafting like crazy. I have glue and decoupage and paint and like paint remover, glue remover. It's just been crazy, but I'm not going to fix them because I'm doing more of the same thing in a few hours. And then, of course, these fairies or angels, if you prefer, whatever you wanted to consider them. And you can see here, like some of the images from my um, catalog still peeping through. I actually like that that added that dimension there for this mixed media project. 
Here is the page that I used the washi tape on. There was just something about this yellow that I, I just needed the color here. And so, of course, all of these were the word light. This was left over from a project. Of course, you know, sunglasses. Left. I don't know why I just wanted her there. She was something bright and cheerful about her. Energize. I love the smiley faces, of course, coffee, fresh fruit, exercise, water, just bright colors. And then the word love, this couple together, this heart with the flowers, love these pink tennis shoes. And just I love these colors. There's just something that made me feel good about them or something about them that made me feel good. There we go, that sounds better. And then the word summer just hit me one day. And I love this image of the ladies picnicking. And this white dress. And of course, these all just reminded me of summer. And the, I believe this is the last page. Bedtime. I was actually working on this, and it was kind of a closure to the book, and it just spoke to me. I love a ripple afghan, and I like to wrap up with a blanket no matter what time of the year it was. Was. Shoot. What time of the year it is. And I just, these images grabbed me and just said bedtime. So that was it, and that is the end of my book. It just has a simple ribbon tie closure. And this was kind of part of a, if I can tie it here, part of a self-therapy project, so to speak. Just encouraging myself to not be so rigid with things and to do something that brought me some pleasure. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That was, or is, my complete recycling book project or junk journal project, if you will. I will probably go back now that I have finished this and insert between each page um, a note card or a tag that I write something as it crosses my mind, possibly a um, inspirational phrase or maybe, you know, something that I'm feeling. Who knows? I haven't decided yet. But that is my complete recycling project. I literally, as far as new stuff, used three staples down the side and that was it and I hesitate to call those new because I they were technically but I almost always have staples in the house so thanks for watching guys let me know if you like this and if you like to recycle are you a recycler I am a big believer in whenever you can recycling or reusing things talk to you later bye